Hey everyone, welcome to episode 4 of Inscription. Again, I recommend going back to the first episode if you have not seen anything to prevent spoilers. But here we go. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. So I've got the film. The Foul Stunted Wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. So he doesn't like the wolf. Okay. I guess he I guess he doesn't like it. Okay, I like the black goat because it lets me get expensive cards. Or sacrifice for expensive cards. Uh yeah, let's actually do that. It's a good sigil. Ooh, what if I put the sigil? No, that wouldn't make sense. I was thinking on something that's cheap, but I don't have any like free cards. The warm light of a campfire has a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dap in the greeting. Warm creature by the fire enhances its health, said one. Okay. If it must be done, please no. Oh, let's enhance the health of the bullfrog. It would be better if it was tankier. You had an idea. Why not warm your creature by the fire for just a moment longer? Oh, this is new. One of the starving survivors took a step closer. This would be risky. Oh, so if you do it multiple times, that's where the risk comes in. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, before you could pull away, one of your survivors leapt upon the bullfrog. Another jabbed it with a spear. He looked up away as a grotesque feeding frenzy ensued. Blood and bones flew left and right as he retreated from the scene. Oh, so if you try your luck, that's where there's actually a chance of something bad happening. Gotcha. Okay, I was also told about this plant. And I mean, they said maybe I should bring it over here. Uh, so you've plucked that from the oil plane painting? You must not like the cards that I don't deal with. Fine. Oh, so I guess he gives me different cards, but I mean, I don't know if it worked. Looks like I have the same cards. I just have to do it right away. Okay, so he, they have flying. Or they have mighty leap, I guess. Okay. So let's play a squirrel. And let's play a stunted wolf. You've got good stats. You're a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, he's safe there. Oh, now he's not safe there. Yeah, I don't like the stoats stats as much. Good lord. Does that kill? No. Stink bug? All right, first one down. I would like some pelts. Oh wait, I should have gotten up and gotten the free teeth. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just take one then. Yeah, I, for I forgot. I forgot to come over here and get my teeth. Where you at? Oh, just one? Never mind. That's no good. All right. Let's continue. The warm light of the campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warmer creature by fire. Oh, well, we already know that. It has its power. I think you gotta take one for the team, Stoke. Do we risk it again? What's the chance of it getting eaten twice in a row? See? No, we're good now. I think two is the max I'm willing to do. See, it's fine. Now you're more powerful. It's all good. Ignore what happened to the bullfrog. Alright, your crows move to the left, eh? Or to the right, I guess. Uh, let's play Stunted Wolf. Okay. Oh, he's playing a lot of skunks.
This might be weird, but if I play a squirrel, I sacrifice it for the goat. I have enough bones to play the stink bug now. Oh, but that's useless because now it has no damage. <laughs> I do that, of course. Oh, good. I was hoping he would surrender because this would take forever. Yeah, thank you. I wonder if there's a way to force him to surrender. Like what? Like what causes that? Let's go this way. Clover. Why do I have a clover? Oh, is that with the plant? Okay, well, I'm going to get uh, bugs, I guess. Ringworm. Oh, gross. Sacrifice the black goat. What if I put it on a pelt? Because a pelt is free, but you can't sacrifice a pelt. <laughs> Uh, only one way to find out. Like I said, if I can't use it, then I'll just get rid of it later. It's a waste of a card, but. <laughs> Greetings. I like him. He's cool. The ringworm doesn't do anything, man. Maybe I need to have it die. It's not going to die here, though. Because the birds hit over. I can sacrifice it. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Okay, so time to test my theory. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Well, ringworm didn't do anything when it died. <laughs> this isn't great. I should still win. The thing is, my pelt is taking a spot. Great draw. It's a pretty good draw. Thankfully, my stoat hits really hard. Yeah, thank you for surrounding. That would have taken forever as well. I'm trying to speed run, speed run. Okay. Raven, moose buck, or a wolf. I guess a wolf. Could always redraw it, but use the clover thingy. I assume that's what it does. I don't want to sacrifice you. You're so nice. You're my only choice. Aww. All right. It, it could make my ringworm not useless. I could put it on you, I guess. Very well. I'm sorry. I didn't want to sacrifice you. I didn't have a choice. Prospect door. Greater smoke. Guy in gold in that skull. Let me crack it open and take a look. No, oh, thank you. Carry on. Boss time, eh? Yes. Okay, so let's place greater smoke there. Can I sacrifice greater smoke? Oh, I can. Well, I, I don't need to. I must trust you? Yeah, please do. Ah, the stinky saved you. I do want to kill that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't play my stoat though. Oh, I can't cancel it. Never mind. Because now, now he's gonna turn them all into gold. I hit the cards though. Sorry, bust buddy. We've been through this already three times or so. I know how to beat you. You're not so tough. Uh, I think that should be fine. Yeah, now you turn them into gold. Unfortunately, my stoat's a 3-3, which really sucks to lose, but oh well. 
Okay, so I get to draw a squirrel. And I guess I'll play... Again, I don't really know what that does. Ringworm would be bad. What about the skink? No, it only does one damage. I guess I have to play the skink. It's not gonna help. It's not gonna use its passive, yeah. Don't I have something that costs bones? Or I had something that costs bones, okay. Doesn't matter, because I can do this, this, and then let's try this again. Four damage this time. So why, why do you cost four damage? Well, am I about to lose? All right, let's just block with you. Are you you got to do something when you die. Come on. Do you infect him or something? That's the only thing I can assume. No, you don't do anything. Bro. There we go. All right, cool. That was looking a little dicey, but we're okay. All right, rare card, rare card. Uh, let's get the Gek this time. The Gek looks useless, but it's free, and being free is pretty damn important. Plus, maybe if I die, I can make a free card, so that'd be pretty hype. Uh, flies swarmed around you. You had entered the wetlands. Okay. Let's go left. I have one pelt, which has been useless, so you can have it. Uh, what is a warren? A rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. But it costs one to make this? I don't like that. The bell ringer was actually kind of hype. I guess that's what's called bell ringer, right? It gets cut off. But I don't know how it works yet. I, I I think it has to do something with the turn. Uh, plus I would have two of them. Let's try that. I mean, I had four damage. Wait, did it say a sacrifice can't be made? What the hell? Do I not have anything with sigils left? I should have read that. I kind of skipped through it. My bad. Okay, so let's play Squirrel into Stunted Wolf into Gek. Go, Gek. Eat them. Oh, I think I just win now. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's go to the left. Cockroach. I actually think the cockroach is so good. Mantis is really good too, though. Uh, let's go cockroach, because that sigil, if I put it on something else, is really strong. Enhance its health. Okay. Pick someone else. Uh, Alright, Gek. It's your time to shine. Could become more powerful. Ah, uh, come on. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. That's all I would gamble. That was risky. That was risky. All right. Let's keep going. Also, I hope it's fine that I'm clicking through the text now that we've kind of know what's doing what now, guys. Let me know if you want me to not do that. All right. So let's play... I guess ringworm. I think ringworm seems so useless. I kind of want to get rid of it. It just gives bones, basically. And it costs a sacrifice. I'm actually going to use my squirrel in a bottle here. So you have two now. So I've had two turns. That was my second turn that I played it on. So I think it has to do with the turns because of the bell, of course. And last time I played it on a higher turn? I, I mean, I don't know. Could sacrifice my dude, but I don't think that's worth. Oh, he's gonna die anyways, though. I need to use the knife. 
Ah, okay. Don't worry. We got another eye back next time. Ah. Uh, I hate that. I hate that sound so much. All right. Cockroach? Okay, cockroach? Actually insanely good here. Stow. So I could sacrifice the cockroach, play the stow, and then play the cockroach again. And now the stump won't have damage. Oh, it still has damage. <laughs> Uh, we're getting there though. Hello again. Again, I could sacrifice the cockroach to play this guy. I can't afford it now, which is okay. All right, we should win. We should win. Hope he concedes. All right, nice. Please give me my eye back. So I got this eye last time, and that helped us out. But I wonder if this eye does anything? It looks like a keyhole. Doesn't seem like it. Happy with that one, I guess. Uh, let's go to the right. Adder. Uh, I think Black Goat's still pretty good. I just don't have any expensive cards right now. Turn this, I'll skip my next turn. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. This seems super good. Okay, so, oh man, I need to get rid of this, this ringworm. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. Are you sure? I mean, I guess. Actually, I wasn't sure. <laughs> now that you mention it, I don't know if I was sure. All right, once he dies, I can play the cockroach. Okay, he's got a lot of snakes. Come on, no, not like this. I guess if I die here, I could do another run, though. Oh, you've got a lot. All right, well, I lose one life. That's fine. Still have another life. Painful to see. Uh, let's go to the left. I have duplicates. We want to go to the mushroom people. Oh, two cockroaches. Imagine. Or make a super wolf. I guess two cockroaches so that it's no longer a 1 1. It's a 2 2. Oh, I thought I had duplicates of something else. Guess not. Well, this is what I wanted to do anyways. The operation is complete. Yes. You attempt to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with the metal bucket. I am the angler. You are the fish. All right, angler. Let's do this. Can I click on anything? I've never tried clicking on, like, the fish. No? Okay. Uh, so let's play the Gek, because Gek do be Frito. And that's... I could... No. I'm gonna save my Bell Ringer thing. Okay, so we don't want him to steal that, so instead steal the squirrel. And it also moves his creature back, so it stops attacking me. Oh, I should have drew a regular one, actually. Oh, uh, that's fine. I hate how they attack me directly, though. Okay, so again, play a squirrel. Actually, what I'll do is I'll play the stoat, and then I'll play another squirrel. Yeah, there we go. Cool. 
All right, we're, we're gaming. We're gaming. Yeah, that, that kills his creature, which is kind of funny. Black goat, okay. Does that take one of your lives? Oh, so close. I'm just going to keep playing squirrels, dude. All right. So now I play my bell ringer, and it's going to be super powerful, right? But first, I, need, I should sacrifice those. Uh, let's see. So I should sacrifice... Because I don't want him to get the bait buckets. Like that. And then now I just... You're a 1-3. Wait, what? I completely don't... I don't know what you do. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to be super powerful. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. I, I misunderstood. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to kill one of them. Or maybe multiple of them. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have killed that many of them. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, hold on. Ain't over. I have an idea. We're going to skip your turn, but we're also going to steal a great white. I'll pass my next turn. <laughs> oh, I didn't even need to do that. I didn't realize how much of it. I should look at the scale. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I didn't need to use that, but that's okay. See, we're good. We're good. All right. Give me a rare card, please. That was way too stressful. Uh, you know, I think it's time we get the long elk and figure out what the hell you do, if you're special or not. You contain through the snow line. The snow line. Have we gotten to the boss of the snow line yet? Two kin? I don't really have that. Sigils, yes. I'm blood. Okay, sigils, definitely. Oh, Gek, you screwed me over. <laughs> Gek, you screwed me. Oh, man. Uh, Give me scissors. Scissors OP. You know, give me scissors again. Scissors OP. Uh, Then give me this, I guess. Okay. Uh, I still don't have a good totem, by the way. Let's go to the right. None of these are give me totem. Man, I really want to find out what the hell this guy does. So this is my... This is my second turn. So if I play... I've rang the bell once. Now it's a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe it starts at 4 power and then each turn it goes down? Like it's the opposite of what I was thinking it was? I don't know. Oh, I didn't kill, sad. Cool. Uh, let's go to the left. The left gives powerful cards as long as we pass the trial. Five bones, that's not gonna happen. Six health. I think six health will happen. I have some beefy cards. Oh, easy. So you get airborne. You get that. A card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful creature after one turn on the board. Yeah, give me a great white. Great whites seem very nice. They seem like my style of play. You came across some familiar stones, but there was a something different. Look at this guy. 
The fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Get rid of the ringworm, dude. It's so bad. Oh, the bone lord was pleased by your sacrifice? A minor boon of the bone lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, that's hype. You shook off the viscera of the poor ringworm and carried it onward. Sorry if I read that wrong. All right, let's continue. That's awesome. Okay. Nice top deck. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. So you've got raven eggs. I need to kill the raven eggs. Okay. It's always judging me. Stop judging my moves. Okay. I make good moves. You don't even, you have no idea. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I, I mean, I guess you can do that. Oh, how much power are you going to have? Are you going to be able to one-shot the bird or no? Yeah, I don't trust you. Good. Yeah, I would have screwed up. Okay, we're going to cut the bird. Just so I don't lose. I actually have to cut both of these. Otherwise, I lose. Yeah, I would have I died. Are you going to concede, homie? No? I finally get a totem. We should try to do that. On the house, let's get some, some of these. All right, that's good. All right, give my squirrels airborne or give them mighty leap. I guess we might as well get the... If I get the wolf head, I won't have anything active. But I actually have wolves if I run into another totem. I guess mighty leap so that they can block uh, flyers. Oh, there's another totem up there, though. Great white stunted wolf. So let's do... Oh, you're playing the burb. I'm actually not sure. I maybe should have placed it to the left. No, I definitely should have placed it to the left. I can block it with a squirrel if I need to. But I don't think I should do that yet. Gek? Actually, the Gek's not going to be able to help me yet. I'm waiting for this to die, the snow fur. We just lose a uh, life. That's fine. Bye. Should have drew a squirrel. Guys, yeah, I have two lives because of the boss, which is awesome. I hope for more. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Could really use a good card here. Six health. We should do six health again, I think. Oh. Ah. Okay, good. Success. Beehive. I can sacrifice the beehive for three blood. Okay. Adder, but it's stinky. I don't think that's very useful. Uh, River otter, but it's stinky. I guess river otter... It's a pretty decent card. 
Let's get another totem. Please give me something good for my squirrels. Like something that gives them back to my hand. Oh. Alright, I guess get the elk head. I have one elk. Slightly better, maybe. Not really. Damn, not a good totem. Alright, boss time, boss time. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh my god, homie. I thought we were bros. Uh-oh. I must trust you. I hope you do. Because I don't trust me. Was this leaping trap? A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne signal. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Oh, that doesn't seem very hype. Yeah, it just kills. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't realize I was that low health. No! I definitely could have done better. All right, we're doing one more round, though. Because, again, I'm trying to keep these episodes longer because this game has a lot of gameplay. We're doing another run. Draw the cost from... Yes! Finally, a free card! <laughs> Thank you, Gek. It's power and health. A 3-2 for free is pretty damn good. She's got which we extract the sigils. A 3-2 that can't be killed. And also grows into a more powerful creature. I mean, I, I kind of like that. I never did ask your name. All right, hold on one second. All right, so the top comment was spun off C. So that's what it's going to be. Wait, let's go. All right. There we go. Oh, man. That was the farthest we've gotten, though. I definitely want to get farther, though. Want to get to the end. Definitely can. Now that I got that card, I just need to draw it. Are you prepared to make the right deals? What is that? Try to stay focused. Here's your deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this deck. Okay, so I, what does this do? I don't remember. Choose from among those challenges who came before you. Oh, you get to choose a card from the challenges. Oh, that's one of the best cards then. Uh, trash guard. Dude, trash garbage is just so bad. All right. Reginald, I guess it's me and you, buddy. Even though I don't really like your stats. So whenever I see that symbol, I'm going to it. Enhance its health. All right. Uh, Reginald. Oh, he costs three bones, though. Let's enhance the wolf's health. Two, four. Risk it for the biscuit. Please don't die. Oh, thank you. Okay, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, continue. Okay. You say be, be careful? I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, you should concede. Salutations. Monkey draw. All 
All right, let's go to the right. I, I need a totem. I think we need... I think the way to win is to get totems. Uh, let's get the price of bones. Okay, turkey vulture costs eight bones. That's so many. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Hefty's not that good. Airborne's not that good. And insects. I don't really have insects. Uh, so I guess airborne. Kind of useless, but that's why we need more totems. Okay, so let's put the stunted wolf here. Oh wow, you're gonna do a lot of damage. That alpha. Alpha's pretty good, actually. Um cannot do anything right now, okay? Did you just take one of my lives? He did! Wow, I should have used my squirrel. I've already lost one life this early. Well, if I kill the prospector, I get it back, so it's fine. Prospector's easy. Uh, wolf, I guess. Reginald. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's buff you. You're a 2-6 right now, dude. You're a 2-6, which is pretty hype. What if I give you death touch? I mean, I guess you don't really need death touch, but could be nice. Yeah, okay, let's look at the path ahead. Uh, let's go to the right. Great draw, yes. Okay, so let's place the bullfrog over here so you can block. Is gonna die though. You're gonna do four damage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, that run was going so bad. Yeah, just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just do it. Just get it over with. That was not a good run. I admit it. Your death card, beautiful. Draw the cost from? Yeah, my bullfrog, I guess. Power and health. Oh, wait. This is actually becoming a good card. 3-2. That's actually a good card. Did ask for your name. All right. The next commenter, top commenter, is we're going to do Lucasstar. Lucasstar is always commenting on all of our videos. He's awesome. All right. Well, when I said one more, I didn't expect it to be a five-minute run. So, you know. That was such a sad run. Actually, such a sad run. Okay, here we go. It's time for reels. Still have the camera. The, the film. I'm always getting the same deck. Alright, let's get up. Get the plant, I guess. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? Whoa. Wait. Plant's not here. Squirrel, bullfrog? Whoa. Okay. Also, the, the god is here now. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? That freaked me out. Are these still the same? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if anything changed other than this, but if I get a squirrel and a bullfrog, okay, I'll do that. Oh, let's get a previous challenger. Come on. YouTube frog. Lucastar. Or Casey. Let's get a Lucastar. 3-2 for one 
One cost. Oh, this would be good for if I get another totem. For my squirrels, it's useless. But if I get another totem, that would actually be so good. This is the run. Here it is. Everything's according to plan. All right, let's plan it out. So we want to go to the right to get another totem. Yeah, 3 2 is pretty damn good. Let's not forget, I need a squirrel and a bullfrog. Let me actually double check. Hold on. Okay, squirrel, bullfrog. Okay, cool. Bottom right. Just don't want to mess it up. Um. I, I, I don't really know. I guess it's Rattler. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> we don't have either of these. Uh. I guess this I don't have any insects but I guess if we get some what if something has the same sigil twice can that happen oh you are an insect that's right because you're a stink bug No, they're gonna kill Lucas Star. I just won't do anything for now. Alright, now we put this we put the stink bug here. It will attack both ways, killing those. And I'm gonna put the stunted wool and so the game goes from left to right, so if I put the Stunted Wolf here, it would waste its attack on the Coyote, but if I put it to the right, it should do damage directly to him. Yeah, look at that. Using our big brain. And we'll block that. Nice. Uh, let's get three mana. Grizzly? Okay, I like the Grizzly. Grizzly's hype. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Okay, that could be really good. Oh, but I could give wolf the wolves the times two attack. Because if I put this on squirrels, and then I go for bone cards, I already have some bone cards. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so we have a backup totem, but for now, this is really good. So let's try to get things that cost bones. Because squirrels die basically no matter what, right? And if I'm getting four bones, that's awesome. Okay, so we do want to kill the... The alpha. Oh, wait, you won't kill the alpha because you attacks directly. Whoops. That's okay. I mean, I might be able to... If I use my squirrel, I think I could just win this turn. I should just win, right? Yeah, that's the power of attacking directly. I don't have any pelts. Sorry, buddy. I could have gotten pelts, but I decided not to. Give these two... He was gonna say something else. Oh, he was gonna say B. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, he was gonna say give this to B, I guess. 
But or I don't know. Let's give this to M. All right, let's keep going. Uh, bullfrog, I guess. Give the bullfrog to Grizzly. Yeah. Four six can block anything. All right, prospector, time to die. I goofed up last time, but not this time. <laughs> Easy boss, just pop that meal. Yup, you've told me that. Lucky draw. Our greater smoke we'll put here. Squirrel we'll put here. Sacrifice for this. Now I have more bones, so I, now I can even play this. Perfect. Or I actually could have played Rattler. I should have. Okay, he's gonna turn my stuff into, into uh, gold. So I don't want to play anything. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I'm not gonna be able to kill his pack meal, am I? Yeah, that's kind of a problem. However, I can play my stunted wolf. Get him. Okay, cool, now I can kill it. Let's play the rattler. Look at all the bones I have. Boom, boom, boom. My meal curse you. So what's this guy do? Mirror, ringer. I guess ringer. I, I don't know. Mirror something. <laughs> the power and it's always. This is always equals bearing. I'll figure it out. Watch this. Watch this. I'll figure it out. It's a mirror. He's got one damage. I've got one damage. Lives are restored. Thank you. Very hype of you. Ouroboros, the eternal serpent. Death strengthens, strengthens it forever. Ooh. Sigil's always changing. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, copies created in your hand. Oh, that's so easy. It's such an easy choice. That's awesome. Engulfed by the wetlands. Uh, I think I want another totem, to be honest. Let's go, Mantis, dude. Airborne? Oh, come on. I don't, I don't like any of these. Uh, we're just going to go with the squirrel bones for now. I've got so many totems. I'm not a huge fan of all of them yet. I guess that also none of my cards share a tribe, really. That's kind of the problem as well. All right, so Big Brain, place the Mantis here. Oh, you do have a lot of ants. Why do you have so many ants, though? Okay. Top deck, honestly, yeah. Oh, that's kind of useless. But it got me some health. 
Got me some health, so not entirely useless. That should be fine. The ringworm's actually protecting me, which is the funny part. That card's so bad. It's got to do something, but it just seems so bad to me. Are you sure? Yes. This time I am. Look at all those teeth. This is your only hand and automatically place it. I do have a lot of bones, so... Duplicates. Do I have duplicates? No, but I'm doing it anyways. Oh dear, you don't. You have no duplicate cards. Take one of ours. We will use it next time. Oh, I get to duplicate my cards. I'll duplicate my Mantis. Maybe the Rattler would have been better, but that's all right. Oh, I hate these fights. I hate these fights so much. He gave the birds a stinky. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play this, and we're going to play Luke Star over here, I guess. That's fine. So he's attacking me directly, which I'm actually perfectly okay with. Oh, I forgot about the stinky. No. All right. Can't change of plans. Yeah. Oh, the stinky makes things more difficult. I might steal one of his cards, to be honest. We'll see how it goes. So right now, I'm doing more damage than him. But it's not going to be for long. Corpse Maggot. It only does one damage. One, two. Which means it does no damage. Yep, I'm still in one of your cards. Boris. Every time it dies, it gets stronger. But I don't want to do that right now because then I might lose. Does that include if I sacrifice it? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go to the right. I'll buy a few of these, but that's that's all. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Ooh. Well, hold on. What if I can buff him first? Let's buff him with giving him... Ooh, double attack? Giving him double attack would be kind of good. Well, we need to kill him so he gets stronger. <laughs> Last for meet again. Yes, sir. Oh, they're flying. That was dumb. That was the big dumb. Again, having lots of pelts can end up being really bad sometimes. I should be fine, though, for now. 
Uh, I could get the Grizzly on the board, but I don't know how much it'll help me for now, so we'll just skip. I'm slowly winning, so it's fine. Oh, never mind. I, I mean, I win exactly. All right, keep going. Maybe I can get another totem. Rat King, Ringworm. Uh, I mean... Racking costs two. That's not good. It's too expensive. When a car bearing the sigil struck a tail is created in place. I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep the same one. All right, no more totems. I'm not getting the totem I want. No more totems. All right, which one is this again? Dangler? Yeah, I can tell by the song. An unnatural large figure, the Angler, bring fish. So I actually wonder if I play a pelt, if he'll try to steal the pelt, because that'd be awesome. Only one way to find out. Yes. Thank you. So he always creates bait in front of the creatures I own. So we're going to sacrifice... Okay, don't, let's, let's not forget that this is a mistake I almost made last time. I'm going to sacrifice this for the bird. Because he attacks directly. Oh, wait, but it's still, yeah, it's still going to spawn the great white. That's fine. I'm okay. I should play the pelt, though. Whoops. Okay, I do not want a second shark. So I am selling this. Or it's not selling, but trading it, I guess. Wait, no, that, that, oh, it has diagonal attack. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, give me eyeball, give me eyeball. I actually could have won. Oh man, if I, uh, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. Literally the worst thing I could have done. So now that they're on the board, I could do f deal four damage and block. Oh, so close. It's a 3-3 three, three now. It's a 3-3, three, three, but I can't afford it. it. Smells like fish? It does. I will not survive. And I don't have any other items. No, not like this. Oh, I had a pretty good cards, too. You know what? All right. That's how it is. That's how it is. Why is it stronger now? Oh, no, it's just three. Oh, man. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. I think next episode, we'll get to the past the, the last boss. I got better cards. We advanced the story a little bit. So I'm okay with it. Death card. Beautiful. Draw the cost. Okay, the cost of free. You know, getting gold pelts always sucks. It's usually not good. Power and health. Oh, well, it's a free 1-1, one, one, I guess. The sigils? A free 1-1 one, one that returns to my hand and has split attack? Okay, I actually really like that. I don't know if it gets stronger every time it dies, though. Uh, this card will be... Pactagonal.
All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, and with that, that will end this episode. Ah, uh, we're getting there. We're, we're getting somewhere. Also, I didn't do the painting thing, so we'll have to do the painting thing next episode uh, with the place to arrange the cards. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the series, make sure you keep commenting because I really appreciate that. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.